So I'm here at Five Guys to demonstrate that we can now finally remote play our PS5 console to our RG Ally or indeed any Windows based PC gaming handheld like the Legion Go away from home. And this is the biggest request I get right here on the channel from you amazing viewers. So here are the five easy steps to get this set up, plus we'll test how well it works on a 4G hotspot and also connected to a public Wi-Fi. So let's dive straight in and for step one, make sure you have an awesome app that has made playing RPS5 away from home possible, which is called PS Play. I've done a super easy six step setup guide here on the channel, link in the description. And can we just give a huge show of appreciation to the creator of this PS Play app, FGPR999, who commented on this tutorial. Well, we in the Ally community so greatly appreciate your hard work, as playing away from home just wasn't possible with the awesome Chiaki app without complex port forwarding. For step two, there are three things that we need to do to our PS5 console here at home before we set off on our adventure. The first thing is to connect our PS5 console to our router. Sorry, router, mm. via the Ethernet cable, as this really will give us the very best optimal performance, as opposed to our PS5 console just being connected via Wi-Fi to our router. The second thing is to head to system, scroll down to remote play, and make sure this enable remote play option is set to on. And the third thing is to set our PS5 console to sleep, as remote play away from home will not work if our console is fully switched off. So we've done what we needed to do at home, so let's pack up our RG Ally and head off on our adventure. So I've just arrived here at Five Guys and I love this place, as it's the closest to a true American burger that we can get here in the UK. These Cajun fries have the perfect amount of spice and crunch and of course the Five Guys portion for just this regular size is insane. And the double cheese and bacon burger is just full of glorious heart attack goodness. Grease is literally dripping off it and a slice of lettuce makes it a healthy option too. So I'm halfway through now and this is so good, I am living the dream. Ugh, I got two chips and two bites left and I'm starting to hit that proverbial food wall now. Ugh, just one more bite to go and I feel really sick now, but I've got the faith to keep on going. I can do this, I know it. And I've just finished and yes, it goes to show that we can do anything in life if we put our minds to it. I am so stuffed and I can't eat anything else. Ooh, milkshake. Enough with the frivolities, back to business. And for step three, let's connect to a 5G phone hotspot by heading into settings, click the not connected status at the top, head into Wi-Fi, find whatever phone you're using, which in my case is an iPhone 14 Pro Max and click on it. Enter the network security key, which is found in the Wi-Fi password section right here. It'll now start searching for it and the first time for me, it wouldn't connect. So what I did was position my iPhone near the window for better coverage and it connected then without any issues. Out of interest, I did a speed test on the iPhone and on my 4G signal, I managed to achieve 33.3 download and 19.4 upload. So I was hopeful for some pretty smooth gameplay with these decent speeds in our test coming in a moment. For step four, let's start remote play by selecting our PS5 console in this fantastic PS Play app. Select Remote Connect. Select automatic and after a moment we are now remote playing our PS5 console and first impressions using this 4G hotspot is that there is no noticeable lag or screen flickering which is a great sign of things to come. And for the final step 5 let's connect to a public Wi-Fi. Now I didn't realise that 5 guys here in the UK don't do Wi-Fi. So we got in my car, travelled to a nearby shopping centre or what you lovely American viewers call a mall which is one of the biggest in all of the UK, came to the 5 guys for some more refills and tried connecting to the shopping mall public Wi-Fi. And this is a huge advantage that the RG Ally and Windows based handhelds have over the PlayStation Portal in that we can authenticate public Wi-Fi using a web browser that just isn't possible with Sony just not allowing it on the portal. It was looking promising as it said I was connected, I went through step 4 of remote connect, then automatic, waited a few moments but an error message said that the console could not be reached. 
I tried a second time with still no luck. I tried another public Wi-Fi, which is a coffee shop called Costa Coffee, connected with the Wi-Fi authenticator and connected seemingly fine to this. I ran the speed test, but only managed to get 10.59 download and 10.48 upload. So it was at this point, I realized that these slower speeds may create some issues in the game test in a moment. In the PS Play app, I clicked on remote play, then automatic. It took just a moment and it worked. Navigating the menu seemed fine and we'll now do some gameplay tests, but just a quick warning that there may be some upcoming flashing images. Let's start the testing with the 4G hotspot and with the game of the moment, which is Fallout 4. Wow, I'm absolutely blown away by this. There is zero noticeable lags present. It does feel super smooth. The graphical fidelity is really on point. And to be honest, this is really surreal as it's the first time that I've done PS5 remote play like this away from home that actually feels like I'm sat right next to my PS5 console. And let's not forget this is on a 4G hotspot. If I had 5G, then it could possibly be even better. Let's test now on the cost of public Wi-Fi. And yes, just as a sense, when the speed test only hit around 10 megabits per second down and up, this in contrast does feel heavily laggy. There's lots of artifacting and graphical blemishes. And unfortunately at this low Wi-Fi speeds, yeah, this just really would be only barely playable. Back to the 4G hotspot and let's now test the amazing EA Sports FC24. And just like with Fallout, this is an absolutely incredible experience. The action on the field feels fantastic to control, no stutters or graphical blemishes whatsoever. A huge win for remote playing on the 4G hotspot. And here on the public Wi-Fi, this was actually a slightly better experience than Fallout, but there was some pretty hefty lag and also huge white flashes present. I think we're beginning to see now that 10 megabits per second Wi-Fi just doesn't cut it when it comes to PS5 remote play. And in our final test is one of the very best wrestling games ever made, WWE 2K24. And here on the 4G hotspot, that's 30 megabits per second. It just makes the game look incredible. And by the way, if you're a CM Punk or ECW fan, then you absolutely have to get the newly released DLC, as Punk's model in particular is so realistic. And in actual gameplay, just super smooth and just a real joy to play. And on the public Wi-Fi, at some points it did look pretty decent, but yeah, we can really learn from these tests that I think 30 megabits per second or above really is crucial if we do plan on playing on a public Wi-Fi or also using Wi-Fi at a friend or family member's house too. I'd love to know what you think about PS5 Remote Play away from home using the brilliant PS Play app. Let us know your experiences, any tips, and also what PS5 games that you're most excited to play out and about. Let us know in the comments. As a thank you for watching, I'd love to share this awesome quote. When you start taking care of yourself, you start feeling better. You start looking better and you start to attract better. It all starts with you. So many times in life we can get burnt out and feel pretty low and stressed out. But let's take the time to prioritize our own health and mental well-being. So stay encouraged today, guys. Hey, hit the thumb if you like this, subscribe if you love this. And if you want to see some rare behind the scenes footage of how I create all these vids on the channel like you can see here, and also my take on the brand new M4 iPad Pro 13 inch OLED, then check this out.